Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about turn your website into a SPA without Blazor. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide the code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Do you want to earn a hundred thousand dollars a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just three months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. All right, we will be using HTMX library to transform a legacy ASP.NET website into an interactive single page application by changing 10 lines of code. None of them are JavaScript. So I will describe the advantages of HTMX along the way. So what is HTMX? HTMX is a lightweight JavaScript library that simplifies web development by enabling server side features to be added to HTML elements with minimal code. It allows you to enhance traditional server rendered web applications by adding client side interactivity without the need for complex JavaScript frameworks. HTMX can progressively enhance existing HTML by specifying behavior via attributes such as hxget, hx post, or hx trigger to fetch or send data to the server, update the DOM, and trigger update events. So let's start with the simple web application in ASP.NET Core. So when I run this application, in the inspect, When I click on privacy page, you will see it is getting the size of 3 KB. So we will be resolving this to 2.6 or 2.1 bytes or KB. So for this, we will be using STMX library for that. So I have downloaded the STMX library and put it in here, www root folder. So the next step is to put this library into your layout folder over here. Now add these two attributes here in the body. So with HTMX install, it was time to put it to work. First, I want to tell HTMX when a user clicks a link in the body, don't fetch the whole page. Instead, fetch a fragment of HTML and replace the contents of the main tag with the response. Here's how I did that. I added it layout.cshtml and added hxboost and hstarget to the body tag. The HTMX website explained hxboost. The hxboost attribute allows you to boost normal anchors from and form tags to use ajax instead. This has a nice fallback that if the user does not have a JavaScript enabled, the site will continue to work. For anchor tags, clicking on the anchor will issue a GET request to the URL specified in the href and will push the URL so that a history entry is created. In this code, here, HXBoost True tells HTMX to boost all the links in the body when user clicks the boosted link. HTMX use Ajax to fetch the URL, HX targets argument in any CSS selector, HX target main tells HTMX to replace the main tag with the response. Effectively, I told HTMX to replace the content returned by rendered body with the content returned by a new call to rendered body. Although I had told HTMX which element to fetch and replace, I hadn't updated the application to return a fragment of HTML code. A fetch to privacy would still return a whole page. So I updated the top of layout CSS HTML to return a fragment of HTML when the request was coming from an HTMX boosted link. HTMX adds an HX boosted true header to its fetches that made it easy to detect whether a request was coming from an HTMX boosted link or a regular link. With this code change, layout CSS HTML responded with only the fragment of HTML returned by rendered body for boosted links. There was still one potential pitfall lurking in this code. A browser could cache the response of a request with HX boosted true and serve it from the cache for a request lacking HX boosted true. That would result in a broken page to tell browser not to make that mistake. I added one more line of code. So here's the example. All these changes were recorded. So 
all right when I run this application so in the network trace tab as you can see the default size is now 151 bytes which is our success so HTMX does this in our application to minimize the size no JavaScript or CSS is loaded so here so as you can see how fast page is loaded without any sizes so i converted this asp.net website into single page application without writing a single line of javascript so here you can see that users now enjoy faster seamless website on every device i have reduced my web hosting bills because my web servers handle fewer requests and transfer fewer bytes and i have a code base that is easier to understand that one bill with blazor or a javascript front end so here's you can see HTMX is a very powerful so thank you for watching this video i hope you learned this new library HTMX, and you can now convert your asp.net web apps into a single page app without using javascript or blazor so don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates to joining our course you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com thank you